Call me. And aloha, America. Welcome back to the uh, show here. And we're talking about this ludicrous, ludicrous story from Portland, Oregon. There's a guy who runs a family business, and they sell what are called airsoft weapons. And they are made to look like machine guns or other various weapons. They fire a little tiny 6-millimeter plastic pellet. And it's for guys who like to go out and play combat simulation out in the woods. It's sort of a less messy version of paintball. Now, I actually had one of those guns briefly. I used it as a prop on the show. And as an experiment, I shot myself in the leg with it. Didn't even leave a mark. These are harmless. They are toys. They're made out of plastic. And the ATF seized 30 of these. And these are pricey. They're they're very finely detailed, and they're, they're not cheap. And the ATF seized them. And the explanation given for the seizure was that these could be converted into full machine guns. I am not kidding you. The ATF seized 30 plastic toy guns claiming that people could convert them to be real machine guns. Now, because this is a government agency and can never admit error, they're clearly rising on a busted flush on this one, because the local ATF chief is out there saying, well, anybody carrying something like this, you should expect trouble. You're not even allowed to have something that even looks like a gun. And they've issued a statement that their own laboratory has succeeded in converting one of these plastic toy guns into a real, fully automatic machine gun. The owner of the toy store said, please show me how this is done. And the ATF said, no, we don't have to show you any of this. We're the government. We're above the law. You will simply take our word for it. Mahi dictum est. And if you want to see our paperwork, you'll have to file a Freedom of Information Act request, which will probably be ignored. Now, I don't know, maybe after that whole disaster down in Waco, Texas, they decided maybe they shouldn't let the ATF people actually have real guns to play with anymore. But it is absurd to suggest that any of these airsoft guns can be converted to fire a live round, let alone fully automatic. That little 6mm barrel, there is no real ammunition that's in 6mm. If there was, it would be completely ineffective. There's no firing pin in the airsoft guns. It's basically, it's an air pump. Or it's a spring action. And if you could somehow get a live round in there and get it to fire, the gun would explode. It is not made of materials able to withstand a live round, let alone go fully automatic. Do you have any idea how much heat is generated by full auto fire? The gun would melt in your hands after about maybe six or seven rounds. So it is absurd, it is completely absurd for the ATF to be seizing these airsoft plastic pellet guns, insisting they can be converted into a full operational machine gun. It's absurd. Your tax dollars at work. Apparently over in Illinois, um, oh, we already talked about that, um, will ban all semi-automatic rifles, pistols, and shotguns because anything that loads itself is now deemed an assault weapon. That's not actually true, by the way. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. So basically the gun grabbers are in rock and roll, full tilt boogie, full afterburner mode right now. They want to get the guns. And it's got nothing to do with easing crime or stopping the school shootings. If they wanted to stop the shootings in schools and movie theaters, you've got to take these people off the SSRIs. At least 90% of these mass shooters were on prescription psychopharmacological medications. SSRIs, antipsychotics. And if you want to restrict people with mental illness that are on prescription medications from having firearms, I don't think that's necessarily an idea we're going to argue with. But you don't punish the law-abiding 
for something a few individuals do, unless there's an agenda of general disarmament. And I do want to reiterate a message to the United States Congress. The Second Amendment is not about hunting. It's not about target shooting. It's not even really about home defense. It's about protecting all of us from all of you. A lot of people are starting to see parallels between the current gun grab and the run-up to the battles of Lexington and Concord, which launched the American Revolution. Britain's General Gage had a secret plan to send out regiments of British soldiers to go to Concord, where they were going to seize the, the accumulated military stores of the Patriots. Didn't work out. Diane Feinstein has a secret plan. It's not going to work any better than General Gage's. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. 